Hello, and welcome to HR Analytics 101. My name is John, and in today's tutorial, we're going to help new R users make sense of data frames, the key data structure when using R. We'll focus on the basics, like what the different brackets and dollar signs mean, and by the end, you'll understand how to use these along with column names and numbers to get the data you need from your data frame. So, what exactly is a data frame? Technically, a data frame is a special kind of list object, but for now, you can just think of it like an Excel table with rows and columns. We'll be working with the same data in R later. At the top, you can see that we have the names of the columns with data underneath the name. The most important constraint for a data frame is that each column is the same length. So, if you have a data frame where one column has 32 entries, then every single column in that data frame must also have 32 entries. In addition, you can only have a single data type in each column. So, you can have one column with just numbers, a number with just text, still another with logicals, as long as everything within a column is the same type. Let's get started using the empty cars sample data that comes as part of basic R. You can see the whole list of sample data just by typing data followed by parentheses. We'll start by first assigning the empty cars data to a new object called D. When we do that, you can see that we get a new object in our environment. If we click on the down arrow, this will give us a preview of the data frame. We can also view the data frame using the view command. Always be sure to use a capital V here. Data frames have a row for each observation and a column for each variable. If we apply the dimensions command to our data frame object, we'll get the number of rows in the first position and the number of columns in the second position. Here we can see that we have 32 rows and 11 columns. This matches the information in the environment that we saw here in the upper right. Now let's take a look at the column names using the names function. We can also use the structure function to inspect our data frame. We'll just type str and then put the name of the data frame in the parentheses. What we get back is the class of the object, the dimensions, and some additional information about each of the columns in the data frame. I want you to note the dollar sign here because we're going to be using that a little bit later. There are a couple different ways to reference rows and columns in data frames, and this is where beginners often get tripped up. We start first by referencing the rows and columns using numbers. We'll start with the name of the data frame and a single open bracket. In the first position, we put the number of the row that we want, followed by a comma, and then in the second position, we'll choose the number of the column, followed by a closed bracket. So for example, if I just want the value in the first row and the first column, I would put a 1 in both positions. If I want the value in the second row and the third column, I would put a 2 for row 2, a comma, and then a 3 for column 3. This is not necessarily super useful though, because we're just getting a single value. Usually we want a bit more. One thing I can do is to select more than one column. For example, if I want row 2 and both columns 2 and 4, I would write a D for the name of our current data frame, an open bracket, I'd put a 2 in the rows position, and then a comma, and then C for the combined function, so R knows that we want both columns 2 and 4. Note that when I choose multiple columns, I get a small data frame object back with the row names and the column names, not just a vector of values as we had before when choosing just a single column. Often, when accessing data, we want an entire row or column. For example, if we want all of row 1, we write D, open bracket, a 1, a comma, and then a closed bracket. When I just have the comma but no number following it, it tells R to return all the columns. I can also get multiple rows back using the C function. Here, I write D, open bracket, I put a 1 and a 3 inside the C function, which is in the first position, and that tells R to give me both the first and the third rows, a comma, and then nothing in the second position, followed by a closed bracket. Again, putting nothing after the comma tells R to give me all of the columns. Now let's go over how to get columns using names instead of numbers. First, we'll do this with brackets and the row column form that we used before. Here, we'll start with the D, open bracket, and then leave the first position empty to get all the rows, followed by a comma, and then the name of the column that we want in quotes. This returns a vector, which is just a string of all the values from the miles per gallon column. We can also get a vector of a single column if we instead use the name of the data frame, a dollar sign, and then the name of the column, this time without quotes. So big picture learning so far. If you use the row column form with just a single column, you get back a vector of values, not a data frame. If you use a dollar sign, which takes just the single column name, 
you also get back a vector of values. Again, not a data frame. We can also select multiple columns by name using the C function. This will give us back a data frame object with multiple columns, not just a single vector. So let's say I want to get back both the miles per gallon and cylinders columns. I write D, open brackets, nothing in the first position to indicate that I want all the rows, a comma, and then a C, plus the names of the two columns I want in quotes, then closed bracket. Note that here I am just returning the results to the console, but I could also assign the output to a new object. When I type the name of the new object into the console, I get back the result, which again is the data frame. Now that I have this new thing object here, and because it is a data frame, I can also refer to the column names and get data. For example, new thing, dollar sign, mpg. As our second to last bit, I want to show you the difference between single brackets and double brackets. In both of these cases, we are not using row numbers, only column names or numbers. We'll start with a single bracket, using D, open bracket, the name of the column that we want in quotes, and then closed bracket. When I do this, you see that I get back a whole data frame, not just a vector. Now let's write that same thing, but this time using double brackets. Here, this returns a simple vector, not a data frame, like we saw with the single bracket. Why is that? It turns out that a data frame is a special kind of list. We're going to cover that in another video. Here's what you need to know for now. In a data frame, you can think of each of these columns as like being a big bag containing some data. When I use single brackets in the name column, I'm just asking R to give me back that whole bag. That's why I get a whole data frame back. On the other hand, when I use double brackets, it's like I'm asking R to give me the stuff that's deep, deep inside the bag, the actual deep contents. That's it for today's basic tutorial on data frames. Please be sure to visit hranalytics101.com and look for other upcoming videos. Give a thumbs up if this video was helpful, and please leave comments about what else you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.